Well, Brazil is also facing a deep recession, but the country is working to diversify its energy sources to avoid a power crisis like Venezuela's. CCTV's Paulo Cabral explores a startup bringing solar power to Rio's slums. 60 children spend their days in this community nursery, built high up in Rio de Janeiro's Santa Marta slum. Recently, it was selected to receive these panels in a pilot project to spread the use of solar energy in poor communities. Hopes here are that the green technology will provide consistent, reliable power and do it affordably. We don't get enough energy here. For example, we can't use two electric showers at the same time, or the whole electricity drops down. So we have to shower one child at a time. And on top of that, electricity bills are very high. So we have accepted to have the solar panels to reduce our bills. Nearly one and a half million people live in Rio slums. Most of them have to cope with undependable public services like water, sewage and electricity. Finding local solutions could be one way to go to improve and reduce the cost of these basic services for people here. The social startup responsible for the project sees it also as a way of giving visibility to solar energy technologies. The idea of uh, merging this uh, clean energy generation, solar energy generation, with social impact for us, it's very important. And it, it helps both sides. From one side, the community is helping a lot to promote the technology. On the other side, the technology is helping the community to reduce energy bill, to uh, bring attention, uh, bring tourism to the community. Now, Santa Marta is a very touristic community. Tourists come to Santa Marta to see the spot where Michael Jackson recorded the video of They Don't Care About Us in 1996. It was right here on this roof, where a statue of the singer now stands. On the ground floor, just below Michael's roof, Robespierre Avila runs an NGO to teach music and arts to the local youth. And he's hoping to get solar panels too. If the solar systems begin to grow here, people may have energy leftovers. This could be channeled into the electrical grid for credits on electricity bills, or could be shared with neighbors. Much needs to be done to improve living conditions in Rio's slums. Providing a sustainable and stable source of energy is an important step. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.